The Shippensburg University football team returned 16 starters from a squad that in 2015 won eight games. There's nine starters back on defense, including the entire secondary, and seven starters back on offense, including the entire offensive line. Let's take a look at how the Red Raiders are shaping up for the 2016 season. And before they left, we had that team, our last team meeting in April, and I said to them, I listen, we're not satisfied where we are, or what we did in 2015, so how, how are we going to improve over 2016? And it's about taking the next step. And I said, that's what we need, the next level. We've got to do things differently. We've got to put more effort into it, and we've got to be more committed. And, uh, you know, that was a little bit uh, of the whole mantra over the summer. Talk a little bit about it. Well, it's great to have the, have the players just concentrate on football, and uh, this preseason camp's been really good. Uh, you know, we spend a lot of time on the field, but yet we spend a lot of time in the meeting room. So they've learned what we do, and uh, they're putting it out here on the field and doing a great job. So it's, it's been very, very beneficial to us. The main thing is compete, you know, and, and you go to first few practices, and they're not live drills and stuff, but you want them to compete. And really, once we start putting the pads on, we want to really get after it and, you know, break tackles and, and just, you know, run through contact and just be, bring a physical presence. But uh, the one thing we focused on a lot uh, this spring and going into camp this year is really catching the ball and being a, a presence in the passing game. And uh, those guys have the ability to do that, and that's what we're trying to get out of them in practice. Well, we, we feel like we have three quality running backs that can play a lot of snaps for us right now. Uh, Justin Pyle has uh, been with us for, this will be his fifth year. And, you know, even last year uh, when he was in a rotation and we were able to give him some snaps, he did very well. And he had some stretches where he was pretty, he was pretty good and tough to bring down. He runs hard, he has good speed, uh, good vision, and he, and, he, and he knows the offense inside and out. Uh, the addition of Cole Chippy Alley, uh, the Penn State transfer, you know, has been wonders for us. Uh, he, he provides quality depth. He's a very smart player and we can do a lot of things with him. And then Colin McDermott has played a lot of ball for us uh, last couple of years and, and really when given the opportunity has done a tremendous job. And you know we're looking to get him some meaningful game snaps this year. But with those three guys, uh, we're gonna be able to keep our tempo and keep doing the things that we've done the last few years that have led to a, a success that we've established as an offense. I, I think, and, and this could go across a lot of positions on the offenses, we are very excited about the freshman class that we recruited this year. And, you know, I think those guys bring a energy and passion and hunger to them uh, that they're not just going to sit back and, and take, take it because they're, uh, because they're freshmen or they're young, they're second year players. You know, all those guys want to compete. And the you know, one thing that we've shown here is that we're willing to go out and play the best players. And, you know, we've made moves over the past that have supported that. You know, it doesn't matter how much you played if you don't get better and you're not the best person to help us uh, get to where we want to go. You know, we're going to play the guys who can. And, you know, I think when we have shown that, the older guys who played a lot of football, they respond to that competition, and not only is it going to make us better. Without a doubt, having all five guys back that started every game last year is, is truly unusual and exciting to have. But even better, we've got groups of guys who are ready to go now that are competing against them. And we've got such hard workers that we're having a wonderful time this camp so far. Well, as a group... They've worked so hard, not just since camp started, but since Toe met ball the last time last fall, that they're crazy, fully engaged. And they know the harder they work, the harder it is to surrender. So this is a group that's going to bring it. They're going to play every day. They're great students. They're good people and a lot of fun to be around. We've got a group of guys that are fully engaged, that have a great deal of experience, are, are really good athletes for offensive linemen, and understand what's going on. It's the, uh, the, the pace that we can go at right off the bat right now with all that experience is so much fun for us as coaches that we can not have to bury ourselves in minutia because they've already experienced the minutia. And not just the five guys who've started every game, but Mike Palmer coming through, uh, Zach Warren coming through, we have competition. Nobody's, even though they started last year, they know their position's not set. They gotta prove it every day because that's what Red Raiders do. Yeah, um, I think definitely this is probably the most competitive camp I've been a part of since I've been here. 
Um, a lot of the guys really worked over the summer and it, and it showed in the conditioning tests, the, the max lifts and everything. Um, and, and everybody's competing out here every day. Um, offense will win one day, defense will win the next day. It kind of goes back and forth. Um, so it's great just to get that competitive factor in. Um, yeah, definitely the offensive line. I feel very comfortable with them. Um, I know those guys have my back. And uh, with the receivers, uh, first couple of days, we, we were trying to get our timing down. And now we're really starting to gel, really starting to click. Um, so it just it's a process. Um, and, and two weeks of camp definitely helps with the extended period. Um, and, and I mean, we're just trying to get after it every day. I mean, we, we always talk about the potential we have in this group and uh, how it's very high, but we also know that potential is only or only goes so far um, and, and that we need to carry that onto the field and we still need to prepare, work hard um, and bring it every Saturday.